At the end of part 2, it is clear that Mayavate used the gunshot to blow up Victor Crowley's face. Taking him dead, she leaves that place. But we notice Crowley is still alive. He again takes a step. Mayabate also finds the two dead bodies of co-hunters, whom Crowley had mutilated with chainsaw mercilessly. Suddenly, Mayabate hears the voice of Victor Crowley, and she immediately pulls the starter rope of chainsaw. Chainsaw is started but she is caught by Victor Crowley, and he dangles her in the air. Mayabate thrusts her hand into his face because Victor Crowley's face was badly wounded. As a result, Victor Crowley leaves her feeling pain. He falls on the chainsaw which was started by Mayabate. Chainsaw cuts him detaching his body into two parts. Then Mayabate leaves, taking his some parts of heads. She had acted as such so that Victor Crowley may not retake birth again. And walking, she moves into the city from Swam. Coming into the city, she proceeds to the police station at first. Finding her full of blood and holding a skull in one hand and shotgun in other hand, all are afraid there. She is arrested by the police. But she is not in such condition to reveal anything. She just says that everyone is dead in Swam. Hearing it, a police officer dispatches his police force in the town. After cleaning Mayabate, they come to know that all blood on her was not her own. Her body had minor scratches. There was not a critical wound. Sheriff inquires her. She exposes everything which had been happening with her for the last two days. Sheriff was unable to pick the point that she has survived receiving minor scratches and come here while all others are dead. And he was calling pointless of his Victor Crowley story because he was taking her as a killer. At the same time, a police officer in the force contacts Sheriff through the radio. He tells that Swam is in very bad condition and people are ended mercilessly and dead bodies condition is worst seen. Police officers are wanting after seeing them. Sheriff immediately leaves to Swam after assigning the duty to Deputy Winslow as an in charge. Then Sheriff's ex-wife Amanda Shosa. She was a journalist who was introduced by Victor Crowley. She has been researching him for a long time, convincing Deputy Winslow. She investigates and inquires of Mayabate, but Mayabate was not willing to reveal anything. Then Amanda tells her that she will be executed in the matter of numerous murders. She leaves her that she only can save her. At last, Mayabate tells everything which happened with her. Mayabate was sure that she has finished Victor Crowley, but Amanda informs her. Victor Crowley's ghosts are called repeater in the world of supernaturalism. And they cannot be finished. He has to reawaken it at any cost. But Mayabate was sure that she has killed Victor Crowley. On the other side, emergency medical services had reached and swam. And they were collecting the dead bodies of everyone. They also get the dead body of Victor Crowley there. Sealing it, they also take it in the ambulance. The night falls while collecting the dead bodies. But few dead bodies were still left. Randy was working in the ambulance comfortably. He hears a sound. As he turns his face, Victor Crowley blows up his face with an electric shock machine touching on his face. Hearing a noise, police officer goes there for checking. Coming out from the ambulance boat, he is proceeding towards him. He empties his loaded gun firing on Crowley as a result he has fallen down. And Deputy Hamilton takes him dead. And then Crowley is reawakened. And then Deputy Hamilton contacts Winslow. But he is killed by Crowley before telling anything. On the other side, Winslow only hears his shrieking. And hearing the loud noise, Amanda understands that Crowley has come back. She says that she knows how can Victor Crowley be finished. She asked Winslow to release Mayabate. But he does not agree with her. On the opposite side, Crowley was killing the doctors and police officers one by one. Winslow was also hearing the shrieking of dying people. Trusting on Amanda, he releases Mayabate. At that time, Sheriff for this team also arrived there, and then SWAT team also reaches there. And the hold of operation is taken by its in charge, 
Tyler. Contra Riley. Amanda with Mayavate and Winslow was going to meet a person who was only a relative of Thomas Crowley. And he had his ash. Amanda plans as Crowley is searching his father. And that if Mayavate gives his father's ash to him, then he may return back. But Mayavate does consent for this plan. Amanda asks Thomas Ash from that man. But he was not ready to hand over Ash at any cost. Finding no way, Amanda points Winslow's gun on that person. Taking Ash from him, she flees from there. On the other side, the whole team was investigating that place in the forest. They find dead bodies everywhere. Pursuing them their own condition is turned into the worst because of their worst condition. Then someone appears from bushes, but he was not Victor Crowley, but Andrew, who survived luckily. He says Victor Crowley has finished everyone and they must leave saving their lives.